Well hello and welcome to our live crafting session today. Thank you for joining me. If you are joining me live then hi and welcome. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley in Northamptonshire in the UK. If you're watching live do say hi and let me know that you're here. It's always nice to know who is watching with us. If you're watching on replay or catch up, whether that is on Facebook, on my Facebook page, Gemini Crafts, or whether it is on my YouTube channel. If you have any queries or comments, don't hesitate to pop those in the comments section. And I will answer those as soon as I can. If you caught us yesterday, you will have seen me create this card here, which is from the Silly Goose stamp set, a fun little stamp set from Stamping Up. And it is in our January to April catalogue, so this is available till the end of April. It features four fun geese images, as you can see. Uh, we have the two geese here with the fist bump. We have the goose with the thanks message. The one with the balloon, which is the one that we did yesterday. And then a goose sitting in a um, beach ring. I can't think what you call them. Um, with a little frog on the back and a little hat. So this was the one that we created yesterday. Let me move that out of the light and reflection. And I just stamped this onto a piece of basic white, which I pre-cut using the scallop dies and just coloured in just a small amount. Morning, Catherine. Um, the balloon, the beak, the hat and the feet and then added a little bit of green across the bottom so all of those stamps are from the same stamp set silly goose and then i just mounted this onto a note card and added the little goose and the balloon onto the envelope Today I'm going to show you how you can stamp onto a darker piece of card and colour it in white. So one of the benefits obviously of this goose is you don't have to do really any colouring in. But I thought it would be nice to have a goose on a darker background. And I had seen in passing Brian King, a um, top demonstrator from the United States, stamp a goose i don't know what color card whether he used basic gray which is what i've got here or whether he's smoky slate or gray granite um but he's basically stamped onto there and then we're going to use our watercolor pencils so we featured these last week at coffee and card to color in the white because there is a well it was whisper white it's now basic white but um use a white watercolour pencil to add the white. You could also use white ink um, with a paintbrush or with a blender pen to add to your image. That would also work. So let's give this a go. I'm starting with a piece of basic grey and just so I can see how this is going to come out, I am going to cut this down just want to show you what this will look like when I apply some colour. So it's quite vibrant, probably more than you'd expect. And I think the darker the background, the better the contrast. I think if you used a lighter grey, for example, it wouldn't show as much. So hopefully you can see that detail there. So what I'm going to do is stamp the two geese that are doing a, a fist bump. And I'm just going to use a stamparatus only because I can't find, or I can't put my hand on, <laughs> my large 
block and that's larger than a standard D block which I tend to use most of the time so I'm just going to use a Stamparatus um, plate it's not really critical where this fits on here because it's a small image so I'm going to stamp it in the center I've just got, oops, I've got another oh I really need a mat underneath here Because it's a photopolymer stamp, it needs a bit more cushioning underneath it and it will help the plate to get better contact. Okay, so my plan is just to pop them in the centre and then I'm going to cut this out with a decal edged die. So, just pick that up. And it doesn't really matter what... Oh, bless. According to my screen, I'm still there, but fingers crossed, Catherine. It comes back. I will continue, but if I see it's frozen, I will stop and restart. Thank you for that. So I'm just thinking this up. I'm actually using early espresso, but you could use um, a black, you could use memento, you could use stays on. If you're using watercolour pencils, um, it doesn't matter. It would matter if you were applying any water, you definitely want stays on. So I think I'm going to just add another layer. Make it nice and crisp, like so. So I um this is what I'm thinking is a reasonable size for my cutting out and I haven't decided what layer I'm going to put it onto. It's going to be onto a white card and I picked out two pieces of patterned paper. Um, my first thought was this one which I think I am going to stick with because I think that would look like a, quite a nice combination. So, see so whether I do that one or the next size down. And the only reason I'm thinking that is for my sentiment. I think that will work. Okay, so let's do a little bit of colouring. So, nice and easy with our watercolour pencils. I'm just using our white pen. Uh, pencil rather and I'm just going to go over our geese and it's a really easy covering method and you can build up the layers of white as well and the thing with the watercolour pencils is you don't want a really sharp edge you want a quite blunt edge so if you've got a brand new pack of watercolour pencils, what you want to do is scribble it off to get a, a more rounded top. Otherwise it can just um, scratch the surface a little bit. I'll hold this up to the light, but hopefully you can see this anyway. I know it's a little bit in my shade. Like so. Carol, I hope you're well. Morning Linda as well, I can see you're watching. 
So there's that. It's a beautifully crisp morning, but my goodness, it's cold out there. I think it's minus four at the minute. And very foggy as well here today. Okay. So. And this one's got more of the wing on the side. So not difficult. I'm not doing any shading. You could add an element of grey if you wanted to. I am going to colour in the beaks. There we go. I was watching the scenes of devastation in Turkey and Syria with that awful earthquake. Just unbelievable. My heart goes out to people in that situation. Also the rescuers must be just devastating. Okay, so there's our fun little ducks. And then I'm going to add, um, this is pumpkin pie, like so, like that, and also for the beaks. So it's quite a different look, a little bit of fun. Like so. And you can build up a little bit more colour by adding some more, or in this case, more white, no colour. Okay, so I'm going to add the sentiment and I'm going to use this one that says Goosebumps. I just think that's quite amusing. Let's find my set of stamps. Here it is. Goosebumps. Let's grab a block. I can't quite decide whether to put this above or below. Let's have a little practice on here. Okay. I think I might put it below. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that. So, oh, that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> um, let me just see what the next size down might look like. Yes, I think I'm going to go smaller so that I can see more of this panel behind. So I'm just going to pop that onto my die cutting machine and put a little bit of tape on the edge to hold it in place. Like so. And 
And I'm just being careful to put this on the outside edge, not the inside edge, because as it goes through the machine, it is going to squish that down a little bit. So let me pop that through. So there's our little panel, cute. Morning Wendy. So this is my base card. So I've got a basic white opening from the left, so a side opening. And then I've got this layer here and then my layer on top. Now what I might do is utilize this scrap here and just cut it to go behind so that I've got more of a frame. So I think I'm going to do that. Let me just get the trimmer out. So I want this to be I'm going to take this off the wider side, 14.35, so that I've got a little border by 10. And long as when I'm cutting, I've got a little bit to play with, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit off that side first, just so that the gap in the middle isn't shown. Because it was a scrap of card, it wasn't cut to size to start with. Okay, so what I'm thinking is this one on here, this one, and then that one there, like so. I did contemplate picking out, this is actually Mango Melody rather than Pumpkin Pie. But I, I don't think that's as nice as the black, personally. Okay. So all I'm going to do is pop these layers together. So I'm going to put this layer down first onto this card. I don't normally do it in that order. But because it's got the cutout, I want to make sure I'm not putting glue where it's not needed. Oops. So just using my seal around those edges. So if anybody didn't catch the beginning, that's what I've created and I've used white watercolour pencil on basic grey card. This would also look nice as a frame in its own right, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's my base layer. All right, Catherine, no worries. Catherine had some issues with the video stopping and starting or freezing. So this is our layer. from those lovely black and white papers from the annual catalogue. There we go. And then there's our goosebumps going to go onto the top. I think I'm going to pop that one up with dimensionals. Just shut that ink pad. There we go. Oh, bless. Sorry everybody, at least it's quite a simple card so hopefully you'll be able to watch the replay pretty quickly. I don't know why it's playing up other than there. 
installing lots of fibre broadband around here. There's nobody else in the house apart from the kittens and Cassie. So let's see. Put that there, roughly central. And there we go, there's our finished card. So you can um, come back, obviously I've now put this on dimensionals, but you can come back and add more white. And it's amazing how much the watercolour pencils will add more colour. I tend to think of them as being very sort of um, light, mainly because they're usually watered down. But using them straight you can add a little bit more colour or in this case the white there we go so that's all finished thank you so much um, I hope you enjoyed that fun little card I will be back tomorrow uh, let me see that is Thursday um, yes I will be here at 7pm tomorrow and uh, for another um, card using this stamp set and I think I'm going to do some sort of pop out card or fancy fold or something um, to get those um, the geese moving in some way so thank you so much I hope you like our silly geese actually they're they're still called silly goose gooses apparently if there's more than one silly goose they're still silly gooses not silly geese there you go fun fact for today anyway thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a great day ahead of you depending on what time you're watching this obviously it could be morning afternoon or evening so i appreciate your support thank you so much i uh, hope you can keep crafting look forward to crafting with you again really soon bye for now